Hey guys, it's Liz from blueandhazel.com and welcome to my homeschool channel. If you are new here, I'm glad that you're watching. I hope that you'll hit the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the bell if you wanna be notified when I upload new videos. Um, today, I want to share with you how I'm organizing our homeschool year for Ambleside Online for um, grade levels one, three, and four. If you need help with like placing your kids in an Ambleside Online level, they have um, placement suggestions, but I just went ahead and plugged them into their grade levels. So I know the books are a little advanced, but we're just gonna try it out and adjust if I need. Um, this is our very first year doing a Charlotte Mason homeschool. And so I'm so excited about it, but I'm also really nervous because I know I'm not gonna know what I'm doing for a while and it's gonna feel weird and rocky, um, but we're going to just try it out. And I wanna share with you along the way how it goes, um, how we managed to figure out a schedule and a routine, which I can't really share yet, but I will share later on. Um, today, what I will share is just how we're organizing their book bins and how I am organizing our riches that we'll do family style into a binder. And so I'll kind of show you what's in here and then I'll show you what's in each of the book bins. And they give you a free 36 week schedule for every single year. Um, and that's because each child in each year, um, they're reading different books. And um, so there really won't be a lot of crossover for each year. And so um, initially that really made me nervous because I, I loved the family style stuff we were doing. But I also have just heard that it actually can be super nice to have each kid in their own year, um, in part because um, they have a lot less competition over who knows what from the same material, which we had definitely have some issues with that in our family style learning that we've done before. And then the other part that I'm just really looking forward to, honestly, is just the book selections. They're incredible. Um, this is gonna look a little bit different for us than we've ever done before, but I feel like the amount of reading we're going to do is just going from here to here. So um, I'm really excited about that. I feel like my kids are going to have so much more literature in their minds that they'll be chewing over and making these connections as they go. And so um, I'm hoping that we like it. And I wanna share with you how we're organizing everything to make it flow so it's not super overwhelming. So, okay, so step one that I did is I went ahead and I went to the Ambleside Online website and I printed out their 36 week schedule um, for each of the years. And um, I'll show you what I have here. So I have um, year one and then I have year three and I have year four. And so each of these has a few pages because there's going to be, um, there's going to be a page for each 12 week term. So there's three terms, 36 weeks and a page for each term. So we're really only focusing on that first term and making sure that I have all of these books that they'll be reading for term one. Um, and so this would be like my third graders book list right here, all of these ones that I have in green. And um, I did that for each of the years so that I could know which books I needed to basically start term one right away. I need to have these books at my house. I prefer a physical copy, so I just really made sure to, to buy um, as many used books as I could of the physical copies. And the ones I couldn't find used, I bought a few new, but I just needed the physical copy. We may end up doing some um, audiobooks for even some of the ones I have, but I just really like having the actual book to read and not necessarily having um, digital. I went ahead and just colored this first part green right here because I like to have the visual of like these are the books that we need for the year or for um, term one and this would be term two and then this would be term three. So after I knew what books I needed um, then what I went ahead and did was start ordering them and this took me a few weeks actually because I wasn't buying them new. I was going over all of these different used book areas, thrift books, a lot of Facebook marketplace, um, some Charlotte Mason groups on Facebook that I bought from. And um, that really cut the cost down for books for me, probably by about half. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around and I will show you what is in each child's bin. And then I will also, at the end of that, walk you through what is in um, our riches binder here so that you can kind of see what where I'm stashing like all of our extra stuff. Okay guys, so here I have kind of how we are gonna be organized for this term. So I have my teacher binder with our um, riches in there. I'll do that last. 
we have year one bin, we have year three bin, and year four bin. And then I also have the printout, like I showed you earlier, of every single book that will be in term one. And so you should find all of these books from term one right here in this bin. And then a few extra things that I have for my first grader in here, which I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Um, so when it comes to term two, then I will swap out what's in the bin for the next books here under term two. And then same with term three, we'll swap out some of them for whatever is on this book list right here. And it's really handy. It tells you kind of what you'll be reading each week. There is not a daily schedule um, listed on the Ambleside web website, but there are a lot of people who have done that for us and posted their free materials on the Facebook page. So if you're interested in a daily schedule you can edit, you can find those for free on their Facebook group. As we go ahead and we read these books um, each week, I'm going to have just the kids color in a little section of what we've done. And so we haven't officially started yet, but I kind of was just playing around with reading a few of these um, with my first grader to see, I don't know how it would go, I guess. And, um, practicing a little narration for him. And so I colored those in. Um, I'll probably have him color them in as we go. But um, then this whole row here should be colored in by the end of the week. Next week, same thing. We'll be reading another part of that same book and it tells you exactly what to read. Okay, so what we have in the first grade bin, um, these are just some of the books for um, the first term. This is the Ambleside Online Poetry Anthology that they have come out with. So they actually have made one for every single year and um, it's a little bit of an investment since it's around $10 for the book um, of poems. But they just have this incredible variety of all of the poems that are listed for the year on their website, all in one easy to read place. So we'll just read a short poem each day. And um, I may do that during our morning time, just read out loud the poem from each of the kids' poetry books. I don't know yet, we'll just figure that out as we go, but um, these are some of the other books in his Paddle to the Sea. Um, this particular thing I have, and this is just gonna be, if he wants to do a narration that's like a coloring picture narration, he can do that in here. And this was cheap, so it's like, you know, I can write down his um, oral narration if I want to for him, if he draws a picture. Or we may just stick to oral narration 100%, um, which would be okay. But a lot of kids prefer to do like a picture that they can remember from their story. Um, this will be one in his bin, 50 Famous Stories, Parables from Nature, Burgess Bird Book. Um, he's still learning how to read, and so I've put this in here. This will be a, about 15 minute lesson every day with him. And then this here is his handwriting without tears um, copy work. I would say it's more of a handwriting book at, for him at this point. We're not really doing copy work yet because he is still learning how to form his letters and um, we need more work on that. So before we do any like actual copy work, we're kind of just gonna be doing those letters and then those really short, you know, three letter word type things. Um, this is a fun book that's actually not on there um, list, but it is Aesop's Fables, but California version. So we'll just be reading through those via the schedule here. Then we have my level three third grader and her bin has um, Princess and the Goblin. Um, this was a free read. So I'll have them have one of their free reads out in their bin at all times. Um, How the Leopard Got Its Spots and Other Stories, American Tall Tales, Trial and Triumph. Now, this is a book I wanted to point out that um, will be shared between my year one and my year three. It's on both of their schedules down there. So um, I've gone ahead and just put, for the books that are used over multiple years, a little sticker on the back that shows which years that we'll be using this book for. Um, and so I don't know who's bin this will end up in each day, but it doesn't really matter. If we need the book and it's not in their bin, they can just go to the other person's bin and see if it's there. Um, here is the poetry book that I got on Amazon for year three. 
and it covers um, these poets, which are scheduled on their schedule. So that's just really convenient for me. I got Little Pilgrim's Progress. Um, you know, people have all sorts of different versions of this that they prefer. I just got that one. Um, it's the last of the books here. And then um, she and my fourth grader, so my third and fourth grader, are going to be doing this for our kind of once a week art. And it's really short and really easy. And it just covers a lot of like the basic art that like art concepts. And I'm really excited to do that. We've done about eight lessons in the summer and it just was really fun. So, and then she's doing cursive. So this is handwriting without tears, copy work. Ambleside Online doesn't specify that you have to do like a handwriting program, but if you can't, if you want to, you can. If she does this book, you know, for 10 minutes daily, the copy work there, that's fine. But we also are probably going to do some other days where we do copy work from like readings and the books that you see in her bin. So real quick, I'll show you this thing I got on Amazon to do copy work. Um, I got one for my third grader and fourth grader, but they can go ahead and put a piece of paper up on this, or they can take a book from their book bin and open it to a page that they want to do copy work from. And it has these handy little um, kind of pieces here that you can adjust on the page if you want to keep up whatever it is that you're doing for copy work so it keeps the page open. For my fourth graders then we've got Poor Richard, Robinson Crusoe, Madame Howe and Lady Why, um, Marco Polo. There's several versions of this one. I just bought the one that was on their website recommended on Ambleside's site. Um, some of the history books they'll be reading through. Um, and then this particular book, I just wanted to point out, I bought the one by Donna Jean A. Breckenridge that she's kind of re-edited, um, re I guess you could call it. Um, and so this particular book has been in Ambleside for a long time, but it's a little bit controversial because there have been some really nasty terms like um, savages and things like that um, when talking about Native Americans. And so she's just really um, taken out some of the ones that I would probably as a parent not say out loud. I would probably kind of edit that for my kids as I'm reading. Um, and she's taken a few different just pages, I guess. I'm not sure of every single edit she's done, but something I would feel more comfortable reading to my kids. Um, we've got this one. Here is a year's worth of poetry for reading a poem a day. And one of the sciency books that's like a read in a week book, a child's history of the world, storybook of science. And for this particular book, by the way, um, since I'm new to this, I don't really have a bunch to comment. I did print out a file on their Facebook page um, and I put it over here in my binder and it just has all of the kind of corrections that have been found um, that should be in this book. And so I don't know if that means this is a little outdated or what that means, I'm just not really sure. But I basically printed out a bunch of corrections that I will look through as we go through it. We have a handwriting without tears cursive book for my boy and his artist journal that we'll be doing with my third grader. So these are all the books here that are the scheduled reads. So for every single scheduled read, we are supposedly going to be doing a narration. So a quick little, tell me back what you remember, or tell me what you know about this particular person that we read about or whatever, I'm gonna be learning how to do the narrations. But um, these particular readings will each have a narration after each one. So um, I think it breaks down to daily about three to four book readings a day. And then the next thing I wanna show you is where I'm storing and how I'm organizing all of the free reads for Ambleside Online. So in addition to the books that were going to be scheduled over there, these ones are books that they say um, for each year that every child should um, just have the enjoyment of, of being able to read these books during their childhood. And so I know it's a lot and I think a lot of people do free reads um, as an audiobook. I've labeled some of these with dot stickers here for year one. Um, this is a year zero book. 
um, year two, year three. Um, some of them have stickers that are for year three or year four, and so I've just done a color for each year. If they're, if they're overlapping, then year four free reads, year five and year six. And then these are some other books that I have that just didn't quite um, fit up and down. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look inside of this Ambleside um, Riches folder that I have. This is kind of my mom binder. It's going to be where I kind of keep everything together for myself that I need and our riches that we'll be going over together. Okay, so one thing I'm probably going to do is um, hole punch these and stick them in my binder here. We have our folk songs and hymns and um, Ambleside Online schedules out which folk songs and which hymns um, to read each term. And so some nice person went ahead and put this together. I just printed it out. And this is for the 2023 to 2024 year. A lot of these I don't know. And so we are going to have to look them up on like Apple Music or Amazon Music or YouTube. Um, and then we'll just, you know, listen to them at any point in time. Some people do this while they're driving, while they're just doing dishes or whatever. So it doesn't have to be a formal morning time thing, but usually we um, do sing a hymn during our morning time. So I'll probably just do this then. Um, then I also have year four recitation uh, materials right here. This is a free printout someone put together on the Facebook page and people are just so generous and they put these together and they add the file there. So be sure to check out the files in their Ambleside Online Facebook page because there's so much gold there. Um, I also am going to have a tab for my year three recitation. So every single day they're going to be reciting something from this packet here. So these are all pre-selected and written down on the Ambleside um, schedule of you know what to read and what to recite each year. They, they decide all that for you. So if you like that, that's gonna be great. If you don't like that, you can do your own thing. But the kids will be just reciting a little bit each day. And I don't quite know how much to do each day, but we'll figure that out as we go. Um, then I have a tab in here for maps. So once a week, we're going to be doing um, some map work where we can go ahead and actually um, jot down on maps places that we've read over here in our books. Um, there's also a bunch of really cool um, really cool printouts that people have made from specific books. Um, so I am just going to be finding those, and as I find them, I'll add them in here. Um, like this particular one, someone made from Pilgrim's Progress. Um, totally not like a requirement, but just a cool thing. If you wanna have that um, map folder, you can. I bought these for our Shakespeare. We're totally new to Shakespeare. I have one that is by Lamb and it's Shakespeare Tales. It's the kind of more kid version of the Shakespeare plays. So these pages here I bought on Etsy and they have um, characters from every single one of the Shakespeare plays. Okay, now we have a composer tab here and um, this particular one is not the Ambleside online composer. Um, you can use Ambleside if you want, but I um, just went ahead and got this music study with the Masters Beethoven from Simply Charlotte Mason. They um, have these super nice like pre-done booklets about the composer, which are just easy. So, um, and then this is the artist tab I have for art study. And um, these are actually files that I printed off these pictures with my Epson Echo Tank printer from A Humble Place. They have free printouts of the exact um, artists from Ambleside Online. So, and then someone in the files Facebook um, page put together this right here. So that is what I have for the binder. And um, in the very back, I just have like this um, master schedule of all of the books from Ambleside Online years one through 12. So um, hopefully that was really helpful to you. And please let me know if you have any questions in the comments.